Jedi is going to play that Shadow Shaman, trying to harass out the Nature's Prophet, and that does leave Eternal Envy on this farming lichen. Over to yourself now, Danger Eyes. Uh, we got, uh, we got, you know, the Bulldog on the Prophet, because, you know, he plays about a total of, what, six heroes. Uh, we got <laughs> S4 on Invoker, because Invoker is one of the strongest heroes in this patch. We got uh, Ake on uh, Chen, because if it's a pro game, there's a Chen. Pretty and much. we got EGM on uh, Dazzle, because Dazzle, Dazzle. And then we got uh, the final, uh, the big one himself. We got, yeah, we got Loda on PA, which I am excited to see. Yeah, this is yep. a rare pick by this day, so it's always fun to see. I don't know if you caught mid as well, but it's exactly what I said. He has gone the exact thing I do against TAs in mid and invoker. Cold snap, EMP. That is so infuriating for a TA to deal with. No amount of bottle crane will stop the Araskan after the invoker. And if he keeps on doing that, he just keeps on throwing spells at you. He won't run out of mana because you're giving it to him, so... And, w and once he gets some points in Wax, and well, not even then, just once uh, Sing Sing tries to max refraction first, he'll just, uh, as Swore can just uh, send a tornado and remove all the stacks right from the start, because it's a, it's, a dis it's, a, it's a purge on hit. So, yeah, maybe not gonna have the best start for Sing Sing, although saying that, it's very even at this moment of time. I haven't got any last hits on nice charts, so let's have a look. So, actually, it is actually going the way of Sing Sing in a big way, but that's because of refraction. And Invoker's terrible right-click damage at the early ranks, so... Oh, how he's moved in to He does have an Invis wound. This, this should be able to oh. walk away. Oh! Nope. Oh, boy. Oh! That was... Oh. He could have ghost blood. walked then. There's nothing more oh, mysterious. My. I, it was really, it was most likely the surprise factor, you know, from suddenly there being an invisible Crystal Maiden and some wolves there, too. Because, you know, why not wolves? Yeah. I did like the rotation, the wolf rotation by uh, E to with the wolves mid, you know, just to make sure that the kill's gone. A little bit extra damage. Where's Invoker gone? He's gone back to mid. Okay, so, but yeah, he could have actually, um, he could have QQ walk then. I'm surprised. S was normally really switched on as a hero, so. And whenever I, whenever I play Invoker in mid, I've always got my fingers over QQ, uh, QQW ready for that combo because you just don't know what's going to come at you. So. When I play Invoker mid, I always, you know, lose because I'm terrible in Invoker mid. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun with him, and the guys, are, the guys in the chat are going to start seeing me play Invoker mid uh, more when I get my new internet sorted out, and you guys are going to love that because I'd like to say I'm a pretty good Invoker. Oh, they're going to go in on Puck. Slice, slice, but no, no crits, no RNG crits allowed. Well, I mean, he's only level three. Yeah. Uh, they rotated. Uh, yeah, they rotated Bulldog up for you know for the additional pushing help. Yeah, they said what they brought four up here then, but. They're not going to be able to do anything yet, so the tower didn't really take that Radiant's much damage, so... Is under this isn't really good, because you're giving room to Eternal Envy to farm, and Sing Sing is automatically going to win mid just because of his superior damage against his invoker. Not to mention that, you know, they're like E uh, farm, he's playing Lycan, and playing a Lycan farm is just the worst idea you can do. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not... He's already... He's got 1800 gold, he's probably going to get a Vlad outright, and he... He does have enough, actually. I believe now he does. Yeah, that's going to be a full Vlad if he wants it, because he can. Have, he's already got the uh, the ring of protection for the Basilius. Oh, uh, he the, had, he, he's got the Vlad. It's being delivered right now. Yeah, so there we go. That is scary already, because that's stability in lane as well as nice armor and nice regen. He's going to be able to start pushing now as well, because he's level five and he's got these level three wolves. Bulldog coming back, hoping to defend. Oh no, uh, no. Just, Just wrong place, wrong time then. And this this tower this tower is going. Yeah. The and the Lycan like, fun train begins. Yeah, there's the certain heroes I just wouldn't personally allow through the current uh, the captain's mode stages. I mean, I would not let Lycan through, and I wouldn't let Ember Spirit through unless I was going to play it. You know, so the two heroes he are just really big. Event. And T does bottom get another kill on mid on the invoke and rotated in from Puck. Mm -hmm. This is not going well for Alliance at course. all in this early game. They've they lost their bottom, they lost their mid, they're actually going to... Dyer's bottom tower I mean, is under Eternal Envy is diving at 5 minutes past the tier 2 tower to give him the nature's profit, and he doesn't care, I mean that's not a position you want to put him. And they're going to be able to get this tier 2 tower, and you've got a Chen and a nature's profit on the alliance side, and if you're getting out pushed by pretty much just a Lycan alone at this stage, that's mm, kind of scary. Dyer's bottom tower is yeah, one of the scarier parts is the fact that the sh not only that, but the Shadow Shaman is getting levels for himself. And once he hits six, then just every tower is pretty much just in danger. Everything's at risk. Oh, and there's the medallion pickup. He's Roshan ready, pretty much. 
Maybe you will need treads, but I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm not sure. You know, if boots are needed in this in the new in the state game nowadays. I think you can just go. You know, the manly no boots threat. Big grass finder to Lebe. Is he gonna go in? He does have tornado, but that's 400 health on the light. Cause tornado does a bit damage, but then it's C9. Who does he kill? He kills Chen. And Meanwhile, S4 is up. Uh, he's trying to gank AI in the me. jungle. That is not wise oh. at all. He should have. He knew that there was several heroes there, and here comes the trap. That's gonna stun up, and that is gonna be his death. Oh, uh, if you look, if you look, you, you could see Admiral Bulldog teleporting in, but he cancelled it because he no he noticed that a Lycan was there, which I think they didn't notice. They, he was roaming around with the Crystal Radiant's Maiden, though, so he didn't attack. scout that out beforehand, so maybe he thought that Lycan yeah. had gone, but... Yeah, I, th I think what happened was uh, he saw, um, what he saw was he saw CM, but Lycan was already downhill, and he just didn't see it because of the nighttime vision. But, I don't know, maybe he just thought, you know, that, like, he just wouldn't care or something. But they need to do something because they are 4,000 experience behind. Oh, they're about 6,000 gold behind at 7 minute mark. And he's actually going to initiate into loader. But then again, it's a little bit shadow game. Puck does get damaged. This could be the Puck's death. He does manage to jaunt out of the of the phase shift out. But Dazzle should be able to finish up the Puck now. Oh. He's going to be able to get away. Oh. That's unbelievable. Oh no. Oh my lord. Dad, I, feel, I just feel bad for EGM right they now. They really need these kills as well because. They are about 6,000 gold in favor of C9 right now. And you know, when your offlaner is just murdering you know, your carry, that's like a big worry sign right there. Yeah, exactly that. I do like that. Uh, uh, <clears throat> has Chen done anything this game? I, I'm not sure if he really has contributed much. I... <laughs> I... 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 I don't know, I mean, I, I, I'm looking at Alliance's lineup and they sort of lack, so I'd say like team fight damage, I know the Invoker's meant to be doing that, but it, this Invoker has been shut down so heavily in mid. In Invoker doesn't really do like as much like early game damage as much as he does early game like disables. Yeah. Like, his damage is good, It's but it's not like the greatest for when you go across Wax. What you get instead is you get so much the obscene amounts of utility that he just has. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's also a pretty good ganker going towards Rex as well. I mean, if you find a hero by themselves, he can generally kill them quite easily with an EMP tornado and cold snap on top. Yeah. Invoker does manage to get a pick up on the Shadow Shaman. Shadow Shaman did, did hit six, but that's another tower going down. That's two towers down already. And, and Shaman didn't even pop Surfer Wards, which means they could TP, you know, top or mid and just take that tower right yeah, then. Yeah, because they, uh, Alliance are in no space, to they're in no fit state to defend this right now. He has not yet decided to Roche. I think he's waiting. He's waiting for someone to like. So for like, they're gonna send Shao Shaman top and maybe have E farm and get Roche then, in hopes of like a distraction. I don't think this is going to do so well from going late necessarily as well because Sing Sing has picked up the Midas, and he's about 800 gold away from his big dagger as well. My God, that is one fat TA. That's what a couple of guys. He's three zero zero. That's the exact type of start you want for a TA. Invoker in comparison, he's actually picked up a clarity. <laughs> actually, clarity. Oh. MLG item right there. I'm just confused by the clarity purchase. Like, I, I think he just realizes that with the. I know. He, I don't, just don't think he wants to get caught out about mana. But the wolves are scanning this. Oh no! Uh, they do uh, find uh, it. Uh, uh, come on! Go, uh, he didn't even bother ghost walk. He's not going to ghost walk. He knew that he was going to get away somewhat. I think if the Shadow Shaman was in close range, he would have went for it, but... He's running fast with that Wex. Um, I guess he needs to. He, sh he should be popping a couple Illusion. of... He should pop a, uh, pop a Quaz or two, just to give him that little bit of extra regen. I've got, I know it's at the sub plus movement speed, but Lycan's coming in raw. Here comes the wall. They should pop it. Uh, pop the Crystal Maiden. It's a three-man Dream Coil. Out from the park. Alliance is trying to take Roche uh, before Lycan can. Can they take it? Dream Coil is down, they know that. Lycan can't exactly contest the road very easily. Shadow Shaman can, but where is he? He's top. He's, he's already used he just the wards, so... He just, yeah, he just used it to take tier 1 top. Very smart, uh, very smart uh, idea up the from Alliance here. Tornado. Can he get a cold snap? He does get the cold snap. Another. Another hit, and there goes the mini stun coming out from Dazzle. It's not going to be able to finish him off. Uh, but Shadow Shaman's still pushing top. 
Oh, he's deeping back now. He's gonna oh, he's going, for, he's going for a straight axe. He is going for a straight axe. So this, they are dedicated to this push. But then again, here comes the Alliance army. The so Alliance and the army of fanboys pushing in mid. The oh god. The power of the Swedes is going to push down C9's lineup. But maybe not. They're going to back out. Oh, oh, oh Bulldog. Bulldog. Oh. Oh, that centaur stomp was really nicely done. Invoker does actually manage to get a pick up on the Lycan. Where was the Lycan? He was out of place up top. So that's a pretty it, quick profile to kill as well for an Invoker. So he's got two to fair, kills it, in two minutes. That's a nice amount of experience. And that's exactly what the Invoker needs to get him back in the match. To be fair, it's EE and EE has to farm. He does. The experience is dipping back down. About only 3,000 in favor of C9 right now. It was 4,000. But it's the gold. It's hovering at nearly 10,000. So. Oh, Lord. That's, that is, mind you, one, two, three towers, and they're just farming better. I mean, look at the last hits. We've got 80 up on the like in first place, 64 up on the TA second place. Oh, what's going on there? Chen has been caught up by the entire enemy. He does drop. And all the Chen griefs die. Yeah, so that's not very good. The Chen army is down. Invoker's trying to make his mind what to do here. He does send out the tornado. Hits on two. Nothing else committed. But they're oh, gonna oh. That is one dead crystal main. It is, and the uh, PA jumps in. They might be able to get killed in the Yep, there goes the, uh, there goes the uh, base ship. He, they are going to be able to get killer on to Pilai die, I believe, on the Shadow Shaman. He's not able to get away. He does hold him in place, just for good reasons. He, he just, you know, just, just going to give the middle finger to Loda. He does have the shape ship. Is he going to be forced to pop it? He is, so that's popped. He's actually going to turn around and try and man mode up, and he's going oh to my Lord. the second, that amulet, plus the TA coming at that minus arm, he knows about two hits, and all of a sudden, Alliance are in the retreat. That's what gets played, this pop off the she, uh, Shadow Grave on himself, Loda drops as well, I don't think Loda's getting out of this, he's going to get thrown to the place. Here comes Nature's Prophet, might they be able to oh. Lycan, that's a oh. trap, Lycan drops, a really nice turnaround coming out there, they might be able to turn back around and go back on Sixth, he does. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh! oh. Hand of God coming out as well. They might be able to get a consensus because he's actually lost all the refractions. The trees are blocking, but it's not enough. They just pop the goose back in. Gets first quite low. Chen's gonna drop low. They just pop the does by as does loader, and they might have, and the wolf block coming out from Eternal Envy is gonna block RK. He'll go down as well. I don't know what's going on in these fights. Really all over back and forth, back and forth. I mean, that was a really nice play coming out from Nature's Prophet then to isolate out the Lycan, but that was was it just the one death? I think it was. If you oh. check the experience uh, graph, you'll notice that what had just happened in that fight. Yeah, so, here comes the tornado. That uh, tornado doesn't dispel the refractions. Still has them on him afterwards. Wait, it doesn't? I don't believe it really? does, no, so... I don't believe so, anyway. Mm. There we go. So I have my chat's a little bit low, guys. Uh, my voice. There we go. That should be better. Well, they didn't take the tower, but it's almost it's it's gone low. But that was a shadow shaman ult that went to, that somewhat went to waste. Yeah. Okay. Let's have a look. See, how's Loda getting on with his farm? He has got phase, and he's got methyl hammer, and he's got the recipe for BKB, I believe. No, he's he's that, that's a maelstrom recipe. Oh my God, Loda. Loda has decided that it's time to be a man. Maelstrom, so... Tornado comes out, nobody here, they've just scouted out, so they're gonna try and get a tower. Meanwhile, why are the rest... Chen's up top, he's just trying to get a little bit of jungle farm, really needs that mech, he's getting scouted up by the Lycan Wolf, so... Ah, uh, they could see it. Does Chen have a gem, or is that just a sentry? It's a sentry up on the high ground. Yeah, there's a sentry up there. Yeah. They do get a tower, that's a small consolation, so they're getting a little bit of gold back in their favor. Rotation up, so Invoker uh, comes from trying to fill his tower. On he's out of mana there, so we can't shapeshift, that's a big deal. He's gonna tread switch out, but he'll have enough mana uh, in a second. Yeah, he has enough for shapeshift now. Oh, that deny! Yep, the knight comes out from Invoker, but it's another tower. That's all of the outer towers down for Alliance now. That gold, I don't want to have a look. Over 10,000 experience. Only just just over 3,000, so... And Loda just purchased to pick up his Maelstrom. He know, has, so, so... Even more RNG chance. I think he... Yeah, it's like RNG the hero. He realizes that he's not going to get a Battle Fury in a good time on this match. There's no point going for it, so... He goes for the Maelstrom. I mean, he's still pulling out respectable damage, and I guess Maelstrom, more attack speed, more chances at the crit. I, I know Phantom Strike gives you 100 attacks before attacks, but maybe it's just more for passive attack speed as well. But I don't see him upgrading this to the full Mjolnir. I think that's just going to be a casual Maelstrom to help him farm a little bit. 
and he might pick up something like the BKB and the Helm of the Dominator next. Because face it, he yeah, needs stability and he needs man. 